all right guys welcome back in the last video we learned how to create a very simple menu bar in this video we are going to learn how to create a dialog box or a pop-up box or a message box whatever you want to call it so what i've already done is that inside our qt designer i've already created a very simple button and i'm calling this button as btn as you can see in the properties on the right hand side and then we just need to convert this ui file to a python file using pyuic which i've already told you guys how to do it so i'm not going to go through it again but i've already converted this file and this file is called main.python file which you are currently seeing right now and if we run this we're going to see a very simple button and when we click on this button a pop-up should come up so that pop-up is basically going to be imported using q message box so first we need to add that using our pyqt5 so we're just going to write from pyqt5.qt widgets and from that we are just going to import our q message box simple stuff and then first of all we are going to create a very simple method that whenever it's executed it's going to show up the dialog box so under this uh, just above this retranslate.ui i'm just going to create another method i'm just going to call it show dialog you can call it whatever you want and this is obviously is going to take the parameter of self and for right now i'm just going to write pass inside that because first of all i want to connect our button to our uh, message box or to this uh, function so we already know how to connect a button to another function so i'm not going to go through it again but just for a refresher what we're going to do is we're just going to write self the name of the button so in this case it's just dot btn and then we're just going to write dot clicked and then we're just going to connect this button to our uh, function so i'm just going to write connect and inside that we are just going to write the name of our button so i'm just going to write self dot show dialog and that's pretty much it so show dialog and now if we click on this button this should uh, print out so let's actually print out something just to know that it's working or not dialog let's just print that simple stuff out so let's click on run and if we click on this show dialog button dialog should be printed as you can see in the below terminal so it's working now we just need to show our dialog box so first of all we need to create that dialog box so what we are going to do is i'm just going to create a variable over here and i'm just going to to call it dialog you can call it whatever you want and we are just going to use our queue message box and inside that you want to specify where do you want to show this queue message box and i want to show it inside our window in the center of our window if you don't specify that you want to show it in the center of your window it's just going to show it anywhere so we are going to show it inside our main window and then we also need some kind of a text so the dialog box needs some kind of a text so i'm just going to write dialog dot set text just like we do it with labels and we are just going to write this is a hello world and um, after that we are just also going to set the title of our dialog box so I'm just going to write dialog dot set title of our window and then we are just going to give it a title Let's, to show this dialog box we are just going to write dialog and then dot execute so dialog dot exec so we are just going to write that and then uh, this and that's pretty much it so let's run this now and see how it looks so we whenever we click you can see that we have a very simple dialog box here with a title at the top and some information below and it has this one button of ok so let's make it a little bit more interesting let's give it some kind of an icon to give it some kind of an icon what we can do is we can also set an icon over here so i'm just gonna write dialog dot set icon and then there are different type of item icons that are inside our uh, pyqt5 so we're just gonna write q message box because we'll be importing our icons from our q message box q message dot and then there are a couple of different different icons so for right now i'm just going to use warning and then i'm going to tell you what different icons are present inside our uh, q message box so let's run this again and you'll be able to see that there is this warning icon that is coming over here so there are a couple of icons that are inside q message box and i'm just gonna paste them as a comment somewhere down below just so you guys know what are the different uh, icons that are present so let's actually see we've already seen the warning one let's see the critical one so i'm just gonna copy that and paste it over here and let's run this again and if we show you can see there is this cross button and similarly there is the information and the question icon then we can also add some extra text if you want so for example i'm just going to write set information text and this is just for extra any kind of um, information so set in informative text and inside that you can just write um, this is information and then you can also add some kind of an extra detail so we can also add that at the same time so dialog dot set detail text so you can add any kind of details inside this so you, you're just going to understand what this contains this is basically another way of adding more details to our dialog box 
if you want details are here and now let's run this so that you guys can see properly what i mean so now if we click on dialog box you can see this is the information and if we click on show details other details will be over here so this is just another way to add more text to your dialog box so now we can also add multiple buttons so currently there is only ok and hide details buttons over here what if we want to add like something like retry or cancel and some of these other buttons over here so we can do that using set standard buttons and these uh, standard buttons are very easy to set you can just do dialog dot set standard buttons and then there are different types of buttons that are inbuilt inside uh, PyQt5 and to import these buttons we are just going to use our Q message box functionality that we have been using since and inside that we have a couple of buttons the first button is ok and then we are going to use this pipe character that also stands for or so we want this ok button and what else do we want so we also want a couple of more buttons so we can just copy and paste this again and again so i'm just going to copy this and paste it over here and this time let's say we want a cancel button and then let's say we want a retry button so these are the couple of buttons that are inside our uh, PyQt5 and to know all of these buttons what other buttons are there you can go to this link I'm going to be adding this link to the description of this video so you can check out this link from there and uh, yeah so let's actually see how these buttons look and one thing to remember is that not always these buttons are going to be in order so for example cancel button can come first and then the ok button can come second so let's run this and click on show you can see ok retry and cancel buttons are here but whenever we click on ok nothing happens so we need to fix that so for that we are going to be using the button clicked functionality so let's go down below over here and what we can do is we can just write dialog dot button clicked so this is automatically called whenever one of these standard buttons is clicked and we want to connect these buttons to some kind of a function so we are just going to write dot connect and we haven't created the function yet but let's just call this function uh, self dot dialog dot clicked because we haven't created this function yet and these are the basically the clicks that are happening inside the dialog box so let's create that function so just below this i'm going to create another function and let's just call it dialog underscore click and it's going to take the self obviously and it's also going to take another parameter as to which button is being clicked so i'm just going to call this dialog underscore button and you can call this whatever you want so basically contain what button is being clicked whether the ok the cancel the retry or whatever button is being clicked so now what we can do is we can just write print and inside that we need to print out the text of this dialog underscore button so we are just going to write dialog underscore button dot text and this is this will basically give us what button is being clicked so let's actually try it out i'm just going to click on run and whenever we click on this ok button the ok button should be printed over here and whenever we click on cancel button the cancel is being printed so what you can do is inside this dialog underscore click you can put a if if else condition at if the ok button is being clicked do something if the cancel button is being clicked do something so this is basically the logic of how the dialog buttons work so guys this is pretty much it for this video in the next video we are going to learn how to create or how to add an image or we can also learn how to create combo boxes so we are going to be learning one of those things i'm really excited about the next video and i'll see you all the beautiful people over there.